Totoro survived the most laudious of tasks, a gauntlet of tummy aches and toothaches. After fasting as fast as feasible, he made his way to the graveyard to find the mayor, and hopefully a key to the stolen moonstone pieces. Now back to Kutaro's tale. Before his stint as a scientist, General Monkey was a brilliant mime who made everyone laugh. But being laughed at always rubbed him the wrong way. Determined to better himself, he studied hard and used his evil inventions to get in the Moonbear King's good graces. His piece of the Moonstone made him the smartest creature around. Smart enough to build Castle Grizzlestein, and smart enough to turn Halloween Veal's pumpkins into wickedly tempting snacks. Now, within his laboratory in the haunted house, he was combining Kutaro's seven Moonstone shards with the one that General Dog already had to create an abomination unlike any the Moon had ever seen. You know, moon folk used to flock to Halloween Veal just for the thrill of it. Of course, once the Moon Bear King rose to power and real terror took hold, tourism took a nasty, nasty plunge. The ghost town turned into a... well, you know... Huh? You see? This place isn't so scary. Now, how exactly are we supposed to get in? Oh, mister? Hey, mister, could you unlock the gate for us? Ah! It, it's open. Here they were, in the scariest corner of the scariest part of the moon. Fortunately, not even the most horrible of deaths could deter brave Kutaro from his search for the mayor. After you! Yes, Kutaro mustered all his courage and faced the dangers ahead. <clears throat> I say, Kutaro summoned all his courage because if he didn't find the mayor and get the key to the haunted mansion, the Moonstone Shards would be lost forever. Clearly, Kutaro needed a little persuasion. Oh, get your hiney in gear, you chicken! They'd scoured the graveyard. But the mayor of Halloween Veal was no Countless hands burst from underfoot, ready to drag Kutaro straight in. Look at the cute mole climbing for his life! You can do it, mole! Climb that tub! Who's that kid? It was one of the three types Kutaro met back in the Black Castle's kitchen.
a virgin bride? You're not even human. Oh, damn. I... It sounded like the skulls were playing a melody. Maybe we sh I think it was in the wrong order. I think it was in the wrong order. Ghost transformed into a swirl of darkness and effortlessly dodged Kutaro's attacks. Then, suddenly, a ray of sunlight bounced off the earth and pierced through the dark clouds above. Now we can take it down! Out of that swelling overhead, swooped down and transformed into a horrible weaver. Reaper Weaver swung his deadly scythe, but Kutaro wasn't ready to give up the ghost just yet. Bravely he fought back, using the light shield to douse the fiend in Earth's holy light. Lord of Death used his wicked powers to block the light pouring in from Earth.
With a macabre monster vanquished and the graveyard conquered, Kutaro was ready to continue his search for the man. Missed you, Susan. Don't call me that. My name is Nebula. Silly girl. Daddy knows what he named you. Susan's a wonderful name. No, Susan is so plebeian. You can call this earthly vessel, but you can never name my soul. My name is Nebula. Nebula Oblongada. Wanderer of the cosmos. <laughs> I think we need to look into cancelling your library card. Susan! Susan! Stop it! Kutaro's efforts had galvanized the ghosts of Halloweeville, and now they rose as one. Armed with torches, they closed in on the haunted house, determined to have the monkey's head. Kill the monkey! Smash his head! Drink his blood! to us now. Let's go, Kataro! And so our Kutaro was left to face Monkey's machinations alone. He's not alone. Some might say the mayor's eldritch former estate ah! made the perfect ah! evil ah! laboratory for General Monkey. Not the cool. more he settled in, so the more cool. unsettling the place got. is not seeing anyone, I must ask you to leave. Here, off you go. Let's use Calibrate to cut our way around. There's gotta be a way in. His sinister inventions patrolled every corner of the premises. The general trusted no one and operated all of these creations himself. So our hero, Kutaro, set about slicing apart the evil General Monkey's laboratory like so much paper. Removing this blight on the town was a just act, motivated by justice just begun. How what have you got there? Assistance. Sharing is caring. It's like a light switch. Balls of electricity! Don't touch! Another switch. I think you're safe while the gauge is green. The balls are multiplying. With the last of its supports gone, the fourth story came crashing down. Sheesh! He blew up! 
Is he out of warranty? Is structural collapse by scissors even covered by warranty? What? He totally self-destructed. Blink monkey. He must have installed the kill code. Ah, uh, I'm certain that was it. The evil monkey's abode has been demolished. The monkey's gotta be in here. I can feel it. Ready for anything, the savior of Halloween will step into the heart of the laboratory. Show yourself, monkey! Give us back those moonstone shards you stole! <laughs> but they are right in front of you, my dear. What? <laughs> You will help me test my new bodacious experiment! General Robodog! Destroy Kutaro! Acknowledged! Battery pack melted! Is General Dog? What happened to him? Go! Go! Robo Dog! General Monkey has omitted all of my primary functions! Ugh, forget your primary function! Poor Crusher! Short circuit! Main for the function! Battery on his shoulders. Where did he? 
Dog had been tamed, and Kutaro was one moonstone shard the richer. But Monkey had slipped right through their fingers again. As for the consequences, well, how could Kutaro know? He was just a puppet, not the one pulling the strings. <laughs> <laughs> 